The third technique is by calling in the power of the gods. Salut survivors, welcome back to Solo Podcast channel in Valheim guide series. In this video guide, we will focus on sailing, which is a very key aspect of this game. Who can call himself a viking? Who doesn't know how to sail? Firstly, I will present basic sailing controls, followed by the different techniques on how to sail counter wind, and thirdly, I will share some bonus tips. Please share, like, and subscribe for more Valheim videos. To be noted, is that this game is in early access, therefore we should expect balance patches and additional content soon. Now, let's get straight to the video survivors. Basic controls. Shift sailing is very well implemented in this game and is really fun to play with. Also, the modeling of the seas, waves and wind is fantastic and very submersive. But before you go on your voyage to the open seas on your newly crafted boat, it is important to understand some basic concepts on how to maneuver the ships. First thing first, it is to grasp the fact that there is inertia, meaning that whenever you are having velocity in one direction, even if you change of direction, it will take time to change of direction. The boat will take time to react to your instructions. Now, you have two main ways to sail. One is rowing, which is slow and safe, and the second way is using the wind with a sail, which is a real way to go sailing on the open seas in the search for other islands. Either way, you need to take a hold of the rudder control at the rear end of the boat. So position yourself at the end of the boat for navigating. Once in position, you will see the image of a boat rudder steering wheel in the middle of your screen. This is the default state of the boat not moving, just floating. Then, turn your attention to the top right of the screen, just under the minimap. You will see the image of either a wooden oar, if you are rowing, or a sail, if you are sailing with the wind. Pay close attention to this image, as this indicates your current boat maneuvering state. For rowing, press W just once. You will see that the image of your boat rudder steering wheel now has one small arrow forward. At the top right of the screen, you will also see the oar rowing image. Congratulations, you have successfully gone to the boat rowing state, which will move the boat rather slowly, but surely. This is very useful to maneuver to park your boat, for example. When you press S until you see a small arrow backward under your steering wheel, this means you are moving backward by rowing. This can be very useful in several situations as well. For sailing, now that you know how to row, let's get to the more interesting part of sailing with wind and your sail. You will need to pay attention to the weather and the wind direction. First step, use the sail by pressing W until you see a double forward arrow above the wheel. And at the top right of the screen, you will now see a sail image. Congratulations again! You have successfully gone to set sail with your boat now, provided the wind is in your favor. This will move the boat with considerable speed. If you want to go even faster, Press W until you have a triple forward arrow above the steering wheel. As you can see by now, gaining or losing speed in your navigation is also using W and S. Obviously, the wind is very critical for sailing with the wind. You have two ways to know the wind direction. One way is by locating the minimap at the top right of your screen. There will be a small white arrow at the bottom left of the minimap which indicates the wind direction, whether it be pointing north, south, east or west. Second way is relative to your boat position. Towards the upper right of your screen, just below where you can see either a nor or a sail, you will see an image of a circle with your boat in the center. This is your sailboat, 
and there is a wind image which tells the position of the wind with respect to your boat. Around the circle you will also notice that there is a black part and a white part. The black part of the circle means this is a no-sail zone. If the wind falls in the black part, your boat will not move via sail. Therefore, ideally, when you are sailing, it is best to have the wind in the white part of the circle area, so you will sail better and move faster. If the winds come from the front of your boat, your sail will not catch the wind. Please note that you get slightly better wind speed when you catch side wind than rear wind. You can see the difference between the white wind and the grayish wind. Whenever you desire to turn right and left, you need to understand that you are using a rudder. It is not instantly changing of direction. Therefore, you need to look at the steering wheel yellow bar and evaluate how strong and how long you should be turning right or left with your rudder. Now, good luck with your sailing adventure. When sailing in the seas, you will encounter situations when you will find your boat being in a position against the wind. To my knowledge, there are so far three main techniques on how to sail against the wind. One first simple technique is obviously to row your way out of the no sail area. You will be slow, but you will move forward regardless if you are against the wind. Let us just hope that the sea serpent will be nowhere in sight. Should you get attacked at that unforeseen moment, you will need to gain speed so you can go to the shore, fight that monster and be rewarded with a good sea serpent stew. With this in mind, we will need more than rowing in your arsenal to get out of the no sail area. Which takes us to the second technique which is working the same as in real life, which is by tacking. You need to position your boat at the limit where the wind turns from white to black. Even if you are not going in your perfect direction and then later on change of direction. So instead of going in a straight line, you will sail in an alternating left and right tacking wind. The third technique is by calling in the power of the gods to help you in your endeavor by using the mother boss power. When you have progressed enough in the game to the point that you have beaten the boss of the snowy mountain biome, you will be able to gain access to the tailwind when sailing power. This power permits you to gain a guaranteed tailwind for 5 minutes. This can be very useful as a backup solution or for emergency situations. Bonus tips! Whenever at sea, I would recommend to always have a hammer and 10 pieces of wood in your inventory, so that in case of a need for emergency repair of your boat, you could just land anywhere, rapidly build a workbench, and then be able to repair your boat in an instant. Another useful general tip, keeping in mind that you cannot regain stamina while swimming, in case you end up in a swimming situation, you will want to have with you at all times a stamina potion, which can be a lifesaver and avoid drowning. Now, an advanced tip not directly linked to sailing per se, but as a consequence of your boat storage and the fact that metals do not travel through teleporting portals. You should not hesitate to bring in your boat two iron ingots so that whenever you will go in a very far land and you would find a nice location where to establish a forward outpost, these two iron ingots will permit you to build a stone cutter workbench and you will therefore be able to build stone walls. This can be quite useful when colonizing in the plains biome, for example. I hope these tips will be helpful for you to sail and discover new lands to colonize and if you have any comments, suggestions, additional tips, feel free to leave a message in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so you won't miss out on my future videos. Thank you for watching and see you on my next videos. Until then, have a good day. Cheers.